Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rexfer here, and I'm back yet again, another game tutorial, and today I'm going to show you guys how to create a custom loading screen, or progress bar, I guess, as GameMaker likes to call it, in your GameMaker games. Now, what I mean by progress bar, or loading bar, is when you run your game, you see that little kind of image that uh, pops up for a brief moment, and then your game kind of goes to whatever the game is, and it basically just loads the game up. But before the game loads up, there's that little image, and basically that's what I'm going to be focusing on today, on how to basically change that to whatever whatever the heck you want to change it to. Now this tutorial is a bit hard to explain only because uh, some of the resources that I'm using for this tutorial um, are all resources you guys can create and stuff but I can't necessarily show them beforehand but it's kind of weird to show them after hand I guess. Um, but I'll try to get this through to you guys as uh, best I can so yeah. <laughs> Alright so with that said let's go ahead and just begin the tutorial. So what I'm going to do is go to global game settings, go to the loading tab and what I'm going to show you guys is the resource first and then I'm gonna try to go and show you guys how to kind of configure those resources into the game uh, program afterwards in the game maker alright so what you're gonna want to do here is go to show oh, uh, show your own image while loading click that go to change image and I have these three images here these are the resources in which I'm going to be using um, I have the loading underscore front loading underscore back loading underscore behind and um, these can be named whatever the heck you want to name them but the point is you have to have at least three images they can be whatever the heck you want to have them uh, B, um, and of course you can change them later and stuff, but basically um, you need to have at least three images that you're using for this. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing here is the loading underscore behind is the very B behind image that's going to be pretty much, um, I guess, behind everything. That's, that's pretty much the easiest way I can explain that. Um, then the back is going to be in front of the behind, but still behind the loading front. The loading front is going to be in front of everything. And don't worry if you don't understand this too much now, because once I show you guys what I mean later, um, you guys will pretty much understand what I'm talking about, and um, you guys can configure this however you guys want to configure it. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and choose the loading underscore behind for the uh, background image. And um, of course you can make this transparent as well, and then set the transparency, but I'm not going to do that for now. You guys can toggle load that or kind of play around with that if you want to uh, do that. Um, but next I'm going to go down here and hit the um, own loading progress bar button and um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Ah, jeez, my throat's been acting up so weird lately. It's probably because of the, uh, the season. My allergies are just kind of acting up. You guys know how that goes. Um, but nonetheless, I'm going to go ahead and choose. Once you do this, you're going um, to get these back and front image buttons here. I'm going to go ahead and choose back image and choose the loading underscore back in which I created as well as the front. Um, I'm going to choose loading underscore front and scale progress bar image. Now you want to have this checked. If it's unchecked like this, um, you could run into some problems, um, so I'm just going to keep it checked. And um, if you still run into problems while it's checked, um, you might just want to try unchecking it and then kind of reconfigure some stuff and then maybe you'll find later that, you know, maybe you just need to reconfigure some stuff and then just keep it checked. But usually you're just going to want to keep that checked and everything should be fine. Alright, so that's pretty much it for that. I'm just going to hit OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and load the game. But really quickly before I do, I just want to go ahead and set something up really quick. And and I will see you guys back here in just a moment. Alright, and we're back, and as you guys can see, I have this little Rex Furry image up here. And uh, I'm just going to do this so when the game loads and you guys see all the background stuff, you're just going to see the background to this image here, and not my desktop because it's pretty busy, or pretty busy, pretty messy. And um, you guys will maybe get a little bit distracted by that, and I don't really want that to happen, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this up. And uh, yeah. Alright, so now that we have everything set up in this little area here, we can go ahead and run the game. And when I run the game, notice the, um, oh, I have to put a room here really quick too, or else the game won't run in the first place. All right, but uh, when I make uh, when I run the game, rather, um, notice the loading image. All right, and how it's changed. So I'm gonna run the game, and here we go. There's a little loading image, and the game loads. So that is pretty much it, guys. Um, and that's that's pretty much all you need to do. You don't need to export the uh, images any certain file. It could be PMG, uh, JPEG, BMP, any pretty much just uh, graphics or photo um, extension like that, and uh, it should work. All right. So that's pretty much all. And um, of course, you can mess around with this a little bit. Um, just remember that this image right here is going to be what's going to appear in the very back. The back image is going to appear um, right above the uh, very back image, and the front bar image, or whatever front image, is going to appear or appear right above the um, back image. And that's basically the loading bar. All right, so that's pretty much all. I know this um, tutorial is kind of uh, weird, kind of jumbled-ish, um, but it's kind of a hard tutorial to explain. So I hope that I explained it um, good to, enough to you guys to understand it. And uh, yeah.
<laughs> Alright guys, and that is all. Feel free to comment right on this video, and uh, maybe even subscribe to my channel for upcoming updates on future videos, and all kinds of cool stuff like that. You guys know the drill, or I guess not really the drill, but you guys know what I mean. And um, I guess that's pretty much all. So this has been Rex Furry, and I'll see you guys next video.